following video from the Nest Box camera of Francois Paquette of Quebec shows what happens to the eggshells of tree swallows after the young birds have hatched. In the first clip, you see a female tree swallow covering her eggs in the nest cup. And when she goes up to the entrance, if you look carefully, you'll notice a little pink nestling visible along with five unhatched eggs. This first young to hatch must be pretty tired from the effort it put in, but it can still squirm about a little bit. It's a typical altricial nestling. No feathers to speak of except for some sparse down. Its eyes are completely closed. It's unable to stand. It's really pretty helpless. After watching out the entrance for a minute, the female drops back down and seems to look at her new nestling. Checking it out. And then she settles down over the cup to keep her nestling and her five eggs warm. And as she moves about, she must have felt or seen half of the empty eggshell beneath her. She picks it up, and you can see her biting on it. This flattens it out, crushes it. And then she appears to swallow it. We can't really tell because she carries it out of the box so quickly. But we think she ate the whole thing. In this next clip, the male tree swallow has entered the box and noticed that hatching is underway. You can see him looking down at the new nestlings. Then the female returns, and the male exits, probably to go find some food for these new young ones he's got to support. And you can see beneath the female that there are two young tiny hatchlings. female settles on to brood, and as she scans the nest, she finds another half eggshell, and this time there's no doubt about what she does with it. After she crushes it, she eats it. We assume that this is done so the female can recover some of the calcium and other minerals that she supplied when the eggs were formed. Now three eggs have hatched. And you can see how very small newly hatched tree swallows are. They only weigh about a gram and a half. Both the adults now know that they have young that need food. And the process of foraging and feeding that's going to continue for the next 18 to 22 days has begun.
once again, the female has spied a shell. And she's grabbed it. And she crushes it. And she eats it. Then she moves over the nest cup, spreads her brood patch, and settles down to keep her nestlings and eggs warm. Hatching is continuing. Here the brooding female is nice and quiet on her eggs and young, brooding away, keeping them warm. Maybe she's keeping her eye on that fly that's crawling around by the entrance hole. Maybe that's what she jumped up to see, or maybe she was responding to some noise she heard outside. When she drops back down, she finds and grabs another shell. Now this shell seems pretty awkward for her to handle. It's big, but she's cutting some pieces out of it. gets away from her for a minute, but she keeps working at it, chewing and crushing, breaking it apart, but she keeps on going, to, until she gets it all down she can go back to her brooding. The first five eggs in this nest all hatched the same day, but the sixth egg didn't hatch until the next morning. We know the hatch is finally complete when we see the female pick up half the shell of the last egg and dispose of it in the usual way. The last young to hatch, the one from this egg, is going to be behind its five nestmates developmentally for its entire nestling period in the box.